most people have no clue about, in fact, they've never even thought about this. When somebody loses weight, where does it go? What does it become? How does it get out of your body? You're probably dumbstruck by the question. What's the chemical formula for water? H2O. Chemical formula for carbon dioxide, you all know it. So you know what human fat is made of. So what is the chemical formula for human fat? There is such a thing, believe it or not. It's been known since the 60s. It's C55H1040. That's the chemical formula for the average fat molecule in a human body. So how does this stuff get out of a human body? Well, here's the general equation. Fat plus oxygen gives you carbon dioxide and water. That's what it becomes. And this biochemists have known this for ages. You inhale that, you exhale that, that's what happens to it. Now, I better just prove that you do breathe this stuff out, right? If you metabolize sugar, you turn it back into carbon dioxide and water. So, every time you exhale, out comes a bit of carbon dioxide. You can't see it, this is the problem. This is why people don't know how you lose weight. So there you go, I've trapped some breath, I've inhaled that. 5% of the air in there is now carbon dioxide because uh, it's come out of my lungs. I've got some liquid nitrogen here and I'm gonna use that to freeze this air. Now, if you pour it onto a balloon, the balloon does not pop, which is incredible. The nitrogen's minus 196. Oxygen turns into a liquid at minus 183. So the oxygen in the balloon is turning into liquid. Carbon dioxide turns solid, so in the balloon now, I have frozen, well, I have liquefied oxygen and frozen carbon dioxide. And when I take it out, you'll see them. So, it'll just take a while for the balloon to go a little bit clear at the top. The nitrogen in here, air is 79% nitrogen. The nitrogen is in the top of the balloon. But now, look at that liquid down there. Can you see that? That's the oxygen from my breath that I hadn't used. But once it's all gone, there'll be some white powder left. Right, the white powder is breakfast. That's the carbon dioxide, the carbon atoms I ate in the last 24 hours. And when I blow on them, they get warm enough to turn back into gas. And they vanish and people think there's nothing in the balloon. The balloon has mass. Those atoms have mass. You can see carbon dioxide has mass when you solidify it, but when you breathe it out, you don't see it. And we've been confusing people by talking about kilojoules or calories, and they're really important. But people do not seem to understand that when you lose weight, you're losing atoms. But my question was, if I've got 10 kilograms of this stuff, then how much carbon dioxide does that become? And how much water? And it turns out that that's really simple too. So here's the answer then to my big fat question. 84% of fat is exhaled, 16% is excreted as water somehow. It can be in your urine, in your feces, sweat. Um, that means that 10 kilograms of fat becomes 8.4 kilograms of invisible gas that you breathe out. That's amazing. Every time you're doing some exercise and your breathing rate goes up, you're losing more weight than when you're sitting down and not breathing as rapidly. And 1.6 kilograms will come out as water. What I'm saying is that this is very simple. If you just do what I did and what lots and lots and lots of other people, I don't want to meddle. It's easy. All you have to do to lose weight is turn it into carbon dioxide and water. And to do that, all you have to do is eat less, move more, and keep breathing.